This video continues the warm wire and tape mat series with the installation of the Sunstat. Although this video features the Sunstat view, the steps are nearly identical for other Sunstat models. This video is not intended to replace the available installation instructions or the experience of a trained product installer. Refer to the Sunstat manual for further instructions and warnings. A licensed electrician should perform all work relating to the power supply. It's also a good idea to have them wire the Sunstat once the electrical floor heating is installed. Make sure to follow local electrical codes, ensure the power is off at the circuit breaker, then use a tester to double check the wires at the electrical box. The floor sensor that comes with the Sunstat should already have been installed in the floor with the wire extending into the electrical box. If not, install it now before proceeding. Refer to the SunTouch installation video for details and contact the factory if you have questions. The Sunstat view has a screw cover near the bottom center. Pull the cover off to access the screw securing the front to the base. Some Sunstat models have a flip down screw cover instead of the pull off cover. Remove the front from the base after the screw is loosened. Put it in a safe place until after all wiring is complete. Begin by connecting the ground wires from the warm wire leads to the house ground with a wire nut. If a steel box was used, this should also include a short wire to the electrical box grounding screw. Use the diagram on the back of the Sunstat to identify which wires are line and which are load. Connect the black wire from the warm wire power leads to the black load wire from the Sunstat using a wire nut. The white or blue wire from the warm wire leads are then attached to the white load wire from the Sunstat. Next, connect the black line voltage wire from the electrical supply to the black line wire on the back of the Sunstat. The white neutral wire from the power supply connects to the white line wire on the back of the control. The two wires from the sensor are not polarity sensitive. Connect these to the sensor wire terminals by first loosening the terminal screws, then inserting the wire ends into the terminals. Tighten the screws until the sensor wires are secure. If a relay was required by your installation, connect the wires from the relay to the bus A and B terminals on the Sunstat. These terminals are polarity sensitive, so make sure the wire ends are connected the same. Refer to the manual for additional details. Once the wires are well secured, carefully bend them into position within the electrical box. Ensure they are placed well enough back that the base will not have to force wires in place when fitting it to the electrical box. Secure the base to the electrical box with the mounting screws provided with the Sunstat. Install the thermostat cover. Use the label provided with the SunTouch installation instructions to help indicate which circuit breaker protects the Sunstat control and floor warming system. For all models, remember not to operate the system until the mortar has had time to fully cure. A brief test once the thermostat is installed is all that is required. Follow the instructions with the thermostat for proper operation and visit suntouch.com for additional help through our online tutorials. If you have any questions when installing, consult the manual or contact the factory. Use only approved methods and parts to help avoid possible problems and allow the system to operate safely for years to come. For more information about WarmWire or other Radiant products, visit wattsradiant.com.